fitting an AUX to a L322 radio. You'll need either an AUX cable or a white and red RCA cable so you can chop the ends off and get to the wires and obviously that's what you'll plug into to get the audio. Uh, so the first thing to do is remove the upper part of the dashboard to gain access behind the radio display. This involves removing both side vents and the fascias and numerous torque screws. You can see there I've circled the top dashboard torque screws. There's loads of videos online to demonstrate this. Uh, so once the top dash is removed, you've got to remove the stereo, that's six torque screws, this is an example, mine's the touch screen obviously. Um, but there you go, you've got one there, one there, yeah, there, 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 down there, and one down on the other side as well. So you just remove that, remove them six. And then once the six screws are out, you can then pull the stereo fascia up and get to the wires at the back. So unplug them wires so you can get the uh, touchscreen out of the way. And then it reveals the IHU, the radio module at the back. That's the module that the AUX wires are going to go into. So in order to get this module out, you've got four screws. So there's one there, one there, one there, and one there. And then once all four of them out, you can pull it forward. And there's quite a lot of wires, so you can pull it out and see around the back properly. Um, so there are four block connectors in total. One of them's a little RCA. So we want the middle one there. Um, that is where the AUX wires go into. Uh, you can see there with them unplugged, it's the middle one. So, what I did is I stripped the wires on the RCA plug and uh, threaded them in the back of the block connector where I then hot glued them in so they wouldn't come back out uh, as I didn't have the correct pins. But this one is just showing you here, so grey is earth, red is right and white is left and that's the setup if you're using an RCA plug. You can just put the pins in there and glue them in. Um, or this is the setup for an AUX lead. Uh, so hot glue seems to have done the trick but the pins would have been better. And then finally all you do is you reassemble the dashboard threading through the wires where you want them and in order for the AUX cable to actually work you're going to have to code it in. The way that I coded it in was using the Mongoose Pro lead which I bought from China. Uh, it's the Jaguar Land Rover SDD firmware. Now I'm going to try and make a video showing how you program it in using this firmware uh, and then I will upload at a later date. As I said it won't work until this is programmed in but at least the wires will be in there. Uh, thank you for watching, apologies about the cruddy video quality but hopefully I've got the message across. Thanks.